Save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Show that thing here! Why are you leaving? Get out of here! Please, I'm crap for jumping in. Any second. I don't give a shit. My men are ready to step in. Just give the order. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Has it experienced an emotional shock recently? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Have you tried its deactivation codes? The first thing we tried. Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it.
units hold positions. The negotiator's going in.
fuck are you doing? You gotta talk to it or what? Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with There's no way out, Daniel. What you've done is too serious. The only question is whether or not you take another innocent life. It's not up to you. I'm holding all the cards. If I die, she dies. You hear me? I can't stand that noise anymore! <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of here! The situation is under control! There! I did what you wanted! You have to trust me, Daniel! Let the hostage go and I promise you, everything will be fine! I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. You took human lives. Nothing can stop them from destroying you now. Taking one more life won't do you any good. I've spent my life taking orders! Now it's my turn to decide.
That's your problem. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening, a homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See, that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Homicide. You wait here. I won't be long. My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Joss Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Have they said anything? I didn't even know something. Typical DPD. They don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of stay in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the bar. Oh, Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me.
Too neat, no human rights like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Red ice. Seems. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it.
was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No, this type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... with the bat. Lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. And he tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim... ...with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. What are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, going to check something.
was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! Fuck it, I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. Listen, I know you've been through a lot. But you need to help me understand what happened. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio-components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. 
I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? All right. All right. Everything is going to be okay. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. Sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred.
Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Gonna get away with it this time. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room and it won't cause any trouble. Truth is inside.